A girl screams no as parts of her clitoris and labia are cut off without anaesthetic. The operation causes urine retention, infertility and death. Many victims who survive will never enjoy sexual relations. The blood pumped out in waves. Words can't describe the pain. The bleeding was so bad I was rushed to the hospital. It's why I'm celibate to this day. In states like Egypt, most women are cut. The practice is now spreading from Africa and Asia to immigrant communities worldwide. More than 100 million suffer globally. Religions claim female sex organs are sinful and must be removed to stop intimate pleasure. This woman served five years for mutilating 48 girls. It's my tradition. My grandmother and ancestors are all excisors. No one's ever died after my operation. We met the lawyer who put Greu behind bars. She has to fight white male colleagues. They say banning foreign tradition is neo-colonialist and dub the method female circumcision. They would use the word maybe circumcision, which I will not hear of. Because if you did to a young man what is done to a young woman, he wouldn't say I've been circumcised. He'd say I've been mutilated, and right he would be, because of course it's chopping off the penis for the boy, or the clitoris and the labia. Whale Kuriels made the state go after practitioners, but that's pushed the problem elsewhere. So now they send children to Africa to have it done. The former practitioner now warns France will not tolerate mothers who mutilate their daughters, but many take them on special holidays abroad. Mama Greyu now says mutilation's wrong, but in this community, girls will continue to be cut and men order the crime. Officials say France alone has more than 50,000 victims. Daniel Bushell, RT.